There you guys go. Let's do a little bit of amps versus thermodyne. Here's the thermodyne. It's on a 50 amp gauge. That's 50 up there. The first number is 10. This is Missouri Wind and Solar. First number is 20. Just watch that. You tell me. There we go. You can watch the volt gauge also. Right now they're both hooked up to uh, 12 volts. So let's see what happens. Mm. The wind will probably die, but I don't know. Missouri wind and solar is on a 100 amp gauge, thermodyne is on the 50. So, let's see what happens here. The winds are just starting to pick up a little bit. We have a storm blowing through. So, it's supposed to be getting windy all night long and all day tomorrow. So, we'll see what happens here. With the weather, anyway, I don't know. Let's see what happens. Come on, wind. Come on. It's cold. Thermodyne's got to make something, right? You think? There's a little bit of thermodyne. Come on, thermodyne. Oh, almost five amps. Oh, Missouri Wind and Solar is right at 8. Almost 10 amps at Missouri Wind and Solar. 10 amps right there, Missouri Wind and Solar. <laughs> Zero. Oh, wait. No, we got like maybe two. Five, five amps at a thermodyne there. Come on, thermodyne. Who's going to win? Who's going to win? Just keep watching. Exciting stuff, right? <laughs> nah. Yeah, we're only talking like 10 mile an hour winds, 10 to 15 right now. But I thought I'd get a little, a little video while I'm sitting out here, not doing much. Yeah, I tried hooking this uh, 22 to 60 volt, 600 watt to the thermodyne. The thermodyne kept putting it into uh, um, fault. So it didn't work. It didn't work. I was disappointed. I, no matter what I try, I can't get power out of this damn thermodyne. Pissing me off. I don't know. Maybe the bloke will have better luck. We'll see. Hopefully, hopefully he does. Cause I, I'm pretty much done with it. And I'll try to get some videos to show you why. And it's like, just keep watching. You'll see these. The wind ever picks up. Every time I grab the camera, the wind just dies. I guess you can just keep watching. I'm just going to record for a while. Drink some beer while I'm recording. I have a cigarette while I'm waiting. Oh, wait a minute. Remember when I was making like two amps there? Oh, it's up to five. Thermodyne's making five amps right there. You see that? Oh, yeah. Thermodyne's making five amps. 
That's all I've ever seen out of it. Yeah, well, I've seen up to eight. But, oh, Missouri Winters Fuller just come back with a 10 amp right there. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone is solar still making amps. Zero on the thermodyne. Oh, come on, thermodyne. Nope, five amps, thermodyne. Is everyone in solar pushing nine amps there? Thermodyne comes back with a two amp. Yeah, I don't know. Thermodyne's been kind of disappointing. Missouri Wind Solars. I mean, I've got to put my 500 watt back up there because it makes more power than this Thermodyne does. So, yeah, I don't know. I got a new turbine coming, so I, I might just wait for it, but I just want to get this damn Thermodyne out off the roof man it doesn't make power I don't know maybe I have to hit that magical 22 mile an hour wind speeds where it just all of a sudden starts busting out with 30 amps I don't know I saw it on a video on YouTube <laughs> but my Missouri wind and solar is always kicking Thermodyne's butt they're both 14 magnets, both using nine blade rafters, both using the same tail. Yeah, I don't know. And of course, yeah, the wind's just dead. As soon as I get the camera out, try to get video. Oh. I'm sorry when the solar's still making power. Hundred amp gauge moves really slow. <laughs> I'm working on those digital amp gauges right now, so um, we should have them up and running maybe by tomorrow, uh, sometime. But tomorrow is supposed to be really windy, so maybe I'll do it on Sunday. The wind's supposed to kind of die down on Sunday. I'll find out. I don't know. Anyway, you guys, yeah, I'll probably get a better video of this stuff tomorrow when the wind's supposed to be even better. Because you can't really see it. I can't tell if you guys are getting, you know... Missouri wind and solar is always moving the gauge. Thermodyne is barely ever moving the gauge. So that's what I've found out. That's my experience with thermodyne. <coughs> so, alright guys. I'll talk to you later. I'm going inside. <laughs>